So I'm going to try something different. Instead of scanning my sketchbook, I think I'm going to do a sketchbook tour with you guys. Um, it might be a little bit boring because most of my fun sketches are going into chapter six or they are going into stuff for Copic videos that I share here or um, basically my, my normal sketchbook is mostly just practice stuff right now. But uh, I still thought I would share with you guys. So I always leave my first page blank because I don't like it rubbing up against the cover. And I like to use Blick 9 by 12 top spiral bound sketchbooks. <coughs> Sorry, they're a little bit big for on the go. But um, I've been trying to improve being able to draw at a variety of sizes. And I've been using these for years. They have thicker paper than the Strathmore sketch, but they're very affordable. You can get them on dickblick.com. Wait, is it Dick Blick or is it just Blick? Well, I'll post the link in case you guys aren't familiar with it. If you aren't familiar with it, you should become familiar with it because it is a great resource for art supplies. So most of the pictures I have in here are referenced from photos, either from the sartorial, sartorial list, from Pinterest, um, from Senshi Stock, from humans of New York but kind of rarely so they're from all over the place and I don't actually write down where they're from because I'm terrible and a lot of them are in color pencil I like using Prismacolor color pencils to do toned sketches there's my Christmas card design there's the thumbnail and there's the rough and um, if you check out my blog you can actually sign up to get a handwritten Christmas card from me this year. You can check that out at natosoup, N-A-T-T-O-S-O-U-P dot blogspot dot com and it's in the sidebar. You have to fill out a Google form with your name and your mailing address, but I'm the only person who can see it. And there's a little doodle of Kara looking sleepy and a little sad. And that was me swatching some Copics for one of the Copic illustrations I did for you guys. Here are a couple of prints I'd like to work on in the future. Reference from Senshi Stock. Uh, after I cut my finger, I felt really bummed, so I drew Kara with a hurt knee, because I put those negative emotions to good use, right? Um, and I was noodling around with Motion Portrait, which is a uh, iPhone app on my Instagram, and I was trying to determine how, what kind of perimeters it needs, like what size eyes, what shape a face works best with the program, so I did a few faces. More Senshi stock. More Senshi stock. Um, I like to draw Kara based on emot Japanese emoticons, and it's better if I don't know what they actually mean, because then I can interpret them on my own. And this is a fun exercise I like to do whenever I'm kind of brain dead, but I still want to draw in the evening. I think some of you guys probably understand that feeling. I recommend it. Draw your characters based on emoticons. <laughs> Sorry. More Senshi stock. Still more Senshi stock. Senshi stock. Um, a possible future illustration. It's Kara kind of popping out of the panel border. I thought that would be cute. More Senshi stock. Now I'm playing around with adding a little bit of atmospheric shading to help the figure pops. And again, pops, pop. Again, more Senshi stock. So this is a new sketchbook. There isn't a whole lot in it. And I've been doing so much drawing on everything else, I might as well show you some of the other things I've been working on. So yesterday, I drew an opossum and a fox on canvas, and I'm gonna do a Posca video with them, and then I'm gonna sell them in my shop. So if you're kind of into that, you can soon find them in my shop. And they're Art Alternatives canvases, which are some of like the best built mini canvases. They're much nicer than the Dick Blick mini canvases. Um, I recently inked what I'm gonna call my monster pieces. And they're just like miniature canvases with monster girls that I'm gonna co color with Posca. And um, they're also going to be available for purchase in my, in my um, shop. I think I'm only gonna sell them as a set, but we'll see. And I'm gonna record the video for you guys. I, I have, I'm kind of obsessed with Cyclopses as a, especially cute, like shoujo Cyclopses is my thing. Um, I also have this poison dart tree frog I'm going to ink and render for you guys. 
and this illustration of Kara, which I'm gonna marker with Copic markers because I'm testing the Winsor Newton marker pad and I actually really like it so far. And I was gonna ink this and color it with um, Zig Brushables as part of a review. Um, I was thinking about coloring this with Posca, but I might do it with watercolor. This is Stonehenge paper. This is definitely gonna be Posca because I wanna test how well it can handle skin to how well I can do skin tones with Posca. I'm probably going to marker this for you guys today. This is on Crescent Marker Board, so it's going to be part of a review. Um, this is, I'm testing, I review a lot of things. <laughs> and if you want them sooner rather than later, you should donate to my PayPal so I know that you care financially and it's easier to spend to put the time in doing the reviews. Uh, if you don't have any money, that's fine too. Your support um, by sharing it to your social networks goes a long way to let me know that you care. It makes it a lot easier to stay up at night and write reviews or do video reviews, put the time in recording and editing. Um, so I am testing several Strathmore visual journals. This one's the Bristol Vellum. I inked this a couple days ago. I'm gonna test Copics on it. I think I've used it in the past, but I wanted to do um, a more, what's the word, official? Here's the Strathmore watercolor journal. Here's a sketch of a pumpkin roll I had the other night. It was delicious. Here's a doodle of Kara that I'm going to watercolor, and then I'm probably gonna pop it into motion, <laughs> motion portrait and see if I can animate it very cheaply, very lazily. And then there's a letter B, because my name is Becca, and I was having a really bad night last night, and I wanted to do something nice for myself that isn't Kara related and isn't necessarily for the blog, but I might record this anyway. Sorry I keep turning away. Okay, so I have... This, which is on Aquaboard, which I'm going to write a review on, yet another thing. I'm going to watercolor it. I just haven't yet. And it's like a masonite board. Pretty neat, actually. Um, it handled the ink really well. I thought it was going to eat my pen alive. Here are two Copic pieces I recently did. I recorded both of, both of them. This one is going to be a time lapse. This one is going to be a step by step, and I talk through the whole thing. And I think I have a couple more things. Sorry, give me a second. I have another visual journal. This is their mixed media, which is like the thinnest. This is also Strathmore mixed media paper, but it's like 400 or 500 series. So it's nice and thick. This is very thin for mixed media paper. And I was thinking about doing like a little Copic illustration of Kara in um, like stained glass because when I went to the Ghibli Museum, they had all these beautiful stained glass windows. Here's a leopard gecko I'm going to ink with, or I'm gonna color with pigment markers. Here is my, oh my gosh, axolotl. <laughs> we always call them mud puppies. My axolotl character um, that I was gonna probably do with Posca, but I might do a mix of Posca and Winsor Newton, or maybe even Posca, Copic, and Winsor Newton. It really Depends on how crazy I'm feeling. Um, I've been like playing around more with mixed media, so I think that's pretty exciting. And I, I guess I have a couple more super recent things. This cat that I recorded for you guys was done with Posca on Art Alternatives board, and it's gonna be available in my shop really soon. This cat, which was done on Ranger cardstock, but I taped it down, hence the white border, and I have a review on that paper coming soon, and that's my cat Bowie. And um, I think I recorded this video as well, me doing a field test of the pigment markers portrait set with some of my own other pigment markers thrown in for color, because Potter's Pink isn't included, and neither is Henna, and neither is Sepia. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. Most of my sketching has not been in my sketchbook. Um, which is fine. I mean, sometimes I like fill sketchbooks up really quickly and sometimes I'm drawing everywhere but my sketchbook so it takes a while. 
Anyway, I hope that was at least a little bit inspiring for you guys. Um, if you like me doing my sketch dumps this way and prefer it to me doing sketchbook dumps on my blog, picture by picture, leave a comment and let me know or send me an email. Um, I think that's about it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.